7 Rules of Poverty Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to show you 7 Rules of Poverty. Let's start with the video. Number 1. Poverty is 50% circumstances, 50% of acceptance of those circumstances as unchangeable. People who believe that destiny is to suffer do nothing to stop it. They simply accept their life is supposed to be the way it is. Maybe they tried once and failed. Maybe the cards were stacked so much against them that there's nothing they can do. What most people don't know is that if you're sitting at the bottom, there's nowhere to go but up. Change your circumstances by first changing the way you think about what your life is supposed to be. Follow through in small increments and soon you'll see that life gets better when you get better. Number 2. Being broke and being poor are two different states of being. You can be broke many times in life, but being poor is deeper than money. People in poverty have no hope, they lost it. They lack faith in their ability to write their own future. They lack the will to push forward. One can escape being broke many times, but if you end up poor and accept it, there is little that can be done for you. Unfortunately, too many people grow up with understanding the distinction between these two states, with parents brainwashing their kids into believing they are poor when in reality, children can only be broke. For them, money is associated with greed and the lack of it read some senses of delusional pride. There is no nobility in poverty. If you're poor, you can't take care of yourself and those you love, not to mention helping the world move forward. Number 3. Educated people take advantage of uneducated people the same way the strong used to persecute the weak. Throughout time and across all species, we have seen hierarchies from the strongest lion mates with all the females, the most social chimp leads the pack, and in the case of humans, the stronger armies took from the weak. Time passed and the sword and shield got replaced by the pen, by the book, and today, by your ability to navigate the internet. Poor people are not poor because they don't have the potential to escape poverty, they simply don't have the education and the tools to do so. They lack the understanding and the systems needed to pull a community together towards the common goal. Today the ability to leverage knowledge over someone else determines the hierarchy of power because our society is predilected on this. If you look at all the most powerful people in the world, Bill Gates, Warren Buffett, Oprah Winfrey, Angela Merkel, Elon Musk, these are not Olympic athletes. The educated create the opportunities for everyone else, and life rewards those who create opportunities. Number 4. Poor parents can't teach their children how to be rich. They simply don't know how, because if they did, they would have done it themselves. Yet parents still want to teach their kids the things they themselves find valuable. The difference is, those lessons are about survival at the bottom. This is what it leads to, generational poverty. This happens when each generation makes sure to sabotage the next one, either through lack of proper development, through negative influence, and in some cases, just pride. There is something interesting we have seen in poor communities that we want to share with you. It's this concept of a lottery child. Basically, you make as many children as you can in the hope that one of them will make it and it will take care of everyone else. What these people don't understand is that the race for a lottery child condemns the rest of them to a life of poverty. Think about it. In the hopes of having one child that gets into the middle class, people are having up to one children. 
The sum need of resources for the remaining nine of them dramatically outweighs the earning power of the one that made it. Number 5. The hardest working person in the world likely lives in poverty. This is one of those things that people in the middle and at the top get wrong about those less fortunate than them. Some people believe all you have to do to escape poverty is work hard. Nothing can be further from the truth. Hard work only gets you fed for the day. But to escape poverty, you need more than that. You see, wealth or the lack of it is a result of your ability to use the tools that you have at your disposal. The problem arises when there is not proper access to the tools required to escape poverty. If hard work was all it took to be wealthy, the richest people in the world would be the children working in the cobalt mines to get you your iPhone. Think about that. Number 6. Poverty requires company. If there is one universal rule that applies to everything, is that similar individuals gravitate towards one another. Why? They share the same struggles, common enemies, common difficulties bring people together. This is true for both those who have made it and for those who did not. The richest comes together to find new ways to make themselves even richer, while the poor come together to look down on those poorer than them. Number 7. The poor look to others for help, but never to themselves. The paradox of this situation is that you can't help those who don't want to help themselves. Getting out of poverty is a combination of many factors, and you can only do it when opportunity meets preparation. People work out of poverty every day, yet most poor people still wish someone would help pull them out of it. When the opportunity presents itself, you need to be focused and not let it go. Don't wait for others to push you through it. Thanks for watching. I hope you liked this video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit that like button. Let us know if there are any types of videos that you would like to see and leave them in the comment box. I'll be reading you in the comments. See you in the next video. Have a wonderful day.